Hi, it's Lou here, and today I'm doing a walkthrough tour of the Sensational Sunseeker 88 yacht. This yacht debuted for us at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show recently, and I did a quick look around it then, but I haven't had the chance to really go in depth and, and have a good look through. So today I thought I would do just that. To start somewhere different today, I'm up on the flybridge to begin with, and you can see behind me here, we have, of course, the upper helm station, which has all of the normal controls you'd expect, including bow and stern thrusters, Garmin screens. And one little feature that I particularly like is this fold up and down windshield. Now, it doesn't look like much, it doesn't look huge, but a deflection like this, when that's up in, in the upward position, will make such a difference to the captain and first mate or guest who are back here. It'll deflect a lot of wind off, even a little bit of rain, and just make them much less fatigued for a longer journey. So for extended cruising, if the visibility is better from up here, this is where the captain will want to be. With that raise, it'll really help them on a longer journey. Over to my other side here, we've got a lounge area. So great for having guests up front when you are underway if they want to enjoy the ride and the experience. And already I can start to see some storage lockers hidden under that. And I will talk about storage quite a bit. It might be my thing. But anyway, storage starts here. And also some sun pad area just further forward of that. Now as we start moving through the flybridge area, you can see this vast lounge area over here with a fold-out teak table. So once extended, I think you could pretty easily get 10 people around this. You'd need to add some chairs down this side, but with all that, that lounge area behind that, it's a, it's a really huge area. Again, we can see more storage hidden away, to, un, hidden away under there. So that is a fantastic entertaining area. And directly behind me is the bar. Very necessary for Flybridge Entertaining, of course. I love the marble finish they've got here. Obviously, under here we have your sink. There's some cupboard here, and we've got two refrigeration units and also an ice maker up the far end. And under this lid here, we have your grill. And that's a good size grill, actually. That it's pretty big that, so you would actually fit a decent amount of food onto that. That hatch is nice and heavy. And then as we walk towards the rear, you've got a vast open area here. Now there's many, many options that you can add to this, including a jacuzzi, or of course you could add a davit and bring a jet ski up onto the back platform here, um, extra lounges, or just free seating as well. You could put some sun lounges out here. That's really a, a very customizable thing. Now, if I turn around, let's look at the roof here. To start with, we can see your mast there. You'll notice that we've got the sunshade here that comes out so you can cover this back area as well. And as we look forward through the main section, instead of having the fabric opening roof that you see often, you can see we have the option of having the louvers on this particular version. So these can adjust open, close, you can use it for a little bit of ventilation to keep the sun off or open them up wide and get a bit more sunlight through. And from here we will wander down through the hatch here, down those stairs. So now let's start up on the bow of the boat. To begin with you can see your searchlight mounted there. And something different now that we get up to this size of yacht, we have twin windlasses and twin anchors set there. So fantastic if you're doing Mediterranean style moorings um, or for extra security when anchoring. And then let's start looking at this bow area. So we've got three sun pads here. At the moment, the backs are lifted on those. So they're set in like a chaise long position. And this small cushion here is either a great step up to that or an extra seating spot if you happen to have a party going on out here as well. You could definitely make use of that as a seat. And then as we move around behind, with just a couple of steps up, we come up to this lovely lounge area here with the table. 
So fantastic area out here. Once you've added your Mediterranean sunshade, this whole area could be put, you know, under, under some sailcloth and kept in the shade. And if you're at anchor, the bow of the yacht is where you're going to get all of the fresh air. The fre best breezes are going to come across the bow. So lovely as an evening hangout spot. And of course, if you're on the dock, this area is nice and private up here as well. And if we zoom in closely here, you can see under all those cushions, storage. Yay! You can never have enough of it. And a lot of the boats that you look at, you'll see that they really don't have a whole lot of storage going on. And it's sorely lacking. On the side here, oh, did I just lock that accidentally? Maybe the other way. There we go. We've got a nice big storage locker there. This is replicated on the other side. We've got wash down points there as well. And that's a deck shower tap. So that's plenty big enough for some fenders in there um, and dock lines or, or what have you. Cleaning supplies probably for the deck crew. And then as we walk down the side of the yacht, I will post in here now some of the external footage that I have of the boat. She's a really handsome, handsome yacht. And as we move down a little further to where we're level with the dining area, we've now got these two huge sliding open doors here as well. So that will really open up the inside of the yacht to the outside across through the middle of the salon area. It's great if you're at anchor and you wanted to enjoy more breeze through the interior of the yacht, through the main deck salon, that's how you would do it. And now let's wander down and have a look at the transom of the boat. So as we come down the stairs here, you'll see the large hydraulic platform. Now on this particular one, we have the option here. This is uh, in the shipyard, just sitting here at the moment. That's the sideboarding ladder. So you can hop on when you're on a finger dock situation, you can do that. And of course, we have a fantastic rear lounge area here, convertible area here. So the rear platform is where you would mount your tender. It's hydraulic, it can create a fantastic beach club area. And at this point, I'll drop in some more footage overhead showing what can be achieved on the rear of this yacht with the large beach club area. With the lounge area that can convert both ways, you can really create something very, very special in the, in the beach club and make a whole different entertaining area on the yacht. And now in the cockpit area, Let's have a wander around over here. We've got the stairs leading up to the flybridge, which we've just obviously been up to. Under this hatch here, you have your rear helm station, the docking station. So this is fantastic for coming into the dock. You've got all the necessary controls there and you've got great sight lines all the way up the side of the boat, right down to the transom. And of course, capstan there and storage for lines in there. The lounge area out here is also huge. In a relaxed mode you could easily have eight people sit around that and could add some deck chairs of course. If we get down low you will see that the centerpiece of the table removes so you can make that into two more cocktail style tables and also notice some more storage going on there. You may get sick of me talking about the storage by the end of this this video but uh, let's see. Over this side we've got a bar fridge, storage cupboard and under here a small sink. So you've got another little wet bar area there as well. From the starboard side of the rear platform we have this large hatch that lifts up and takes us down into the crew area so I'll do a walk through down in here as well. So to begin with in the crew area you can see we've got the television, we have a Garmin screen here, repeater screen and also the Seamate control. So from in here they can see everything going on with the boat. If you're at anchor you can watch the depth and any movement. Seamate you can control all the lights from in here so at night they can turn on and off as required. You've got a sofa area here 
and a small dining table. So great for crew to have a snack at or just to have a, a quick getaway from everyone else when you're in a busy charter season. That can sometimes be a good idea. We have a, a galley set up here as well. Bar fridge, you've got a microwave, some storage and a sink. So all the basics you need for crew to have some snacks while you're underway. And then the crew head. So you can see we've got some nice mirrored cabinets, some storage in behind. Everything you'd expect in here. It's not a wet head, that's good news. It does have a separate shower. And as we walk through to the rear crew cabin, you'll notice storage. Another one down there. And behind the door, there's some more storage units here. And into the cabin, you can see we've got some storage lockers there and a tool hanging locker there. And two decent sized bunks. They're actually pretty decent width, those bunks as well. And of course, on a yacht this size, you absolutely need to have a separate washer and dryer. There's no doubt about that. Laundry becomes an ongoing mission on a yacht like this. So we've got two Bosch units there. And then into the forward cabin where we have some cushions stashed for the moment, but you can see two more bunks here and more crew storage there as well. So all in all, a pretty good crew area. And then of course, we've got access through to the engine room from here. So we'll wander on in through here. And there is quite a bit going on in here with two MTUs. These are 2000 horsepowers, V12s. We've got your water maker up here, desalinator. So this boat is really equipped for cruising and staying at anchor for extended periods of time. We've got twin Cummins diesel generators, of course, switch panels. There is a lot going on down here. One of the water heaters. Your other generator is beyond there. And of course, the hatch up through to the rear cockpit. So now as we head on into the interior of the yacht, you can see we have the large sliding door here heading into the salon. But there is one very cool feature that I wanted to show you here. Obviously we have the normal sliding door that slides back. But for that extra bit of openness to have that open air feeling between the salon and the cockpit area for entertaining, we can also slide this panel off in behind the glass doors. So now you can see here, well, I can tell you that's about five foot seven of wide open space right here, giving you a nice airy access into the salon area. So now let's wander on inside. As we enter the salon, you can see it is very, very luxuriously fitted out. While that sofa is obviously fitting into that space perfectly, it does give the impression of being completely freestanding furniture, which I think is a nice touch. It makes it look much more like a luxury home. It's a great big seating area as well, the U-shaped curve. Again, you'd easily plonk eight people down there for some TV, a movie night or a game. You've got a large coffee table here. And over behind me, the television and also some storage as well. I love the different finishes. You'll see this all around this yacht. They've included lots of different mixed finishes here and there. It just creates a real visual interest on the boat as well. All of the blinds in here are electrically controlled through the Seamate system. And as we move forward into the dining area, you can see we've got a table here that's set for eight. I think at a pinch you could put two more people around that if I was honest. And this area is really nicely finished with extra storage units down here. And over behind the dining area, we've got your wine fridge and in here, some great storage lockers. 
So this is really important. If you're going to be running this boat as a charter yacht, the crew are going to need a lot of storage for holding different types of table settings, place settings, things like that, to make it more interesting for charter guests as your travels go on. And over here, some more storage with glass holders as well. So again, I think this is pretty well equipped for a yacht that could be put into charter. And the side doorways here, which I was talking about earlier, I think that might be locked. Let's see if I can get that open, shall we? No, okay, we'll abort that mission. So we've got the two sliding doors anyway, on either side of the boat. And that will give you lots of nice, fresh, open air flowing all the way through here. So let's say you're in the Bahamas, it's a lovely, lovely afternoon in winter, not too hot, not too humid. You can have those open, the salon door at the rear open, and even the doors forward into the crew area could be open and will provide a lot of ventilation. We go up one step and into the day head, which is beautifully finished off with all these marble type finishes. And here as we step into the helm, you'll notice in the side here we have pocket doors hidden in either side. Now that means that this area up forward can become an entirely separate crew area, leaving your guests to their own entertaining in the salon and dining area. So as we step forward, we have the helm. First of all though, we have that access door to the side and the helm station with all of the controls that you would expect to see as well. The CMC, Marine, you've got the Seamate. This boat has twin MTUs, as I mentioned, with bow and stern thrusters. So very easily controlled, a twin shaft yacht. A couple of nice big Garmin screens there as well. And then into the galley. And this galley is sensational. To begin with, I think, tons of bench space, which is wonderful because again, when you're running a yacht like this, whether it be for the owner or for charter guests, you're going to want to be doing sometimes more formal style entertaining with plated dinners and things like that. So this galley is really set up nicely for that. You can see we've got storage down here and further up behind here as well, we've got these boxes with extra storage in there as well. So fantastic, really useful storage there for the chef. As we come around, we've got the sink here back in the corner, the dishwasher and obviously other melee appliances. We've got some extra refrigeration here in drawers and of course a large fridge freezer back here. And in this corner, sitting on top of the wine fridge, in the dining area, you've got that huge storage cupboard as well. So you can see we've got that staged here with some crockery and that is, I think, exactly how to use that. So the chef has easy access to everything they need to be able to plate up for dinners. The other access door there. And on top of these fridge units here, another little bar area, again, it's a great spot. If crew are just grabbing a snack during the day, they can grab it on the run and also for the chef or stewardess, whether it be plated up here and sent out to the dining table or dirty plates come back here, you've got access straight over to the dishwasher. So whichever way, of course, the chef wants to run it, but it's a really, really efficient galley layout. Now, as we look at the stairwell heading down to the cabin area, if you have a close look at this fabric, this is just some of the detailing that I was talking about before. You've got this gorgeous fabric on the walls, but they've even gone to the point of just running it in different directions to create a visual interest as well. And of course, the wall lights there are really stylish. So this stairwell takes us down to the crew, uh, not to the crew cabin, sorry, to the guest cabins. So let's wander on down. Now, immediately in front of us here, we have the port and starboard guest cabins. So off to the starboard side, we've got a twin cabin with a nice large locker area here. 
and a nice head on this as well. This is lovely. Shower is back in behind there. And this cabin is a twin cabin. The next cabin on our port side can be a twin or a double. You can see the rails here on the floor. So this bed electrically actuates across, so you can create two single beds in here or a double bed. As you can see, again, a storage locker and the same head that we had on the other side. I've just noticed something here, I think. Oh, look at that, I'm excited. Another storage cupboard. I don't have the magic touch for it just yet, but great to see that they're really making use of every corner to put in some extra storage. And now let's head forward into the VIP cabin. I love this cabin. As you step up through to the, the door of it, we've got a few steps here leading up into its own little lobby area. So we've got this gorgeous buffet here on the side with some storage again. Ah, oh, there we go, magic touch. Okay, these are push, there's no latches. So you've got some handy extra storage there, a nice mirror featured over the top, but this area is sectioned off by this piece of glass here. I love the, the texture in that. And it just breaks it up. So if you have the door open to the cabin, it doesn't look straight into the bed. It gives a sense of privacy in the VIP. To begin with, off to the left, we of course have your head with double vanities storage and behind the mirrors and a nice big shower you've got the rain shower of course overhead and the separate handheld unit your toilet is behind there and then let's come into the cavern proper to begin with you've got this lovely desk area i love that ottoman style cushion there i think that's just beautiful and this cabin to me, the little details here, things like this, it carries on around the bed as well. And as we look at the bed head, you've got the fabric that continues on from the, the blinds here around onto the bed head. And those offset mirrors, I think I was super cool. This whole cabin really to me reeks of sort of art deco era, really sumptuous with lovely decorative details. Your side tables, of course, are built in there. So this is your forward cabin, lots of extra storage. And again, detailing on the front of those cabinets. I just love the way they've done that to create extra just visual movement uh, and appeal to the whole space. Got a very large television over there. And this part I love, the little dressing room. Again, these sort of details with the beveled edge mirrors and the fabric inlay, it really, to me, just reeks of Art Deco. And of course, your robe there is a nice size. And off to the left, we've got some shelves and also drawer storage. So that wraps up what is a really lovely cabin, even gorgeous little details like that. I love this space. So that's the VIP cabin. Now let's head back through past the stairwell into the master cabin. Now we've got some storage in here. Again, that's a great area. And to me, that looks like it might be big enough that you might be able to fit a second washer dry unit potentially if you really wanted one separate for the guests. We've got another locker here and then into the master cabin. And again, we've got those gorgeous offset mirrors. I love the way that they've added, added the extra color in here as well on that bed head. It really makes that bed, bed head stand out. And again, all those lovely finishes that to me just make me think of an art deco, luxury art deco hotel room or something like that. The wood paneling storage, of course, all the way over there. And a great little seating area here with the desk. Again, another funky Ottoman, Ottoman stool there. Uh, and a little box here, whether it be for jewelry 
or to use as a desk for your laptop, which these days everyone's working remote, everyone has laptops on the go. And this nice sofa area over here, I really love. I'm not normally a huge fan of chaise longs in master cabins and this sort of thing, but we are up at a size now on this yacht that really having that creates a nice separate seating area for the, the owner or the, the charter guests. And you really do have plenty of storage besides, so you're not really missing out on any storage space. The large windows, while they're not so great in the shipyard, they are lovely from the sense that they're also just one level window. It, it's not an unusual shape to deal with, so to me that balance is really, really nice. And then into our dressing room. Now we've got extra storage hidden around the place. That one is fixed. What's over here? Let's have a look. Another storage locker there. The same sort of beveled edge mirrors on these doors, which I just am totally in love with. That's a really fantastic hanging locker and some extra storage. And of course, straight ahead of you, you've got that bank of drawers there and the shelves as well. And into the master ensuite, which is pretty spectacular. Again, at the end of it, nice large window. That glass looks to be frosted. So that gives you a nice open feel and still you've got the privacy in the shower. Obviously twin vanities with storage in behind again. And a nice big shower area. Now I think I'm going by the Naughty Styles logic here. That's an easy two-person shower, no doubt about that. It's beautifully finished off rain shower overhead and the handheld unit as well. So this is a really nice, nice area. So that was my walkthrough video of the sensational Sunseeker 88 yacht. I hope you'll agree that it offers a whole lot of space, luxury, comforts, everything. In a size that's still manageable with a small crew, but ideal for charter or extended cruising with an owner and family. So once again, if I can help you with anything boating wise, please reach out at any time. As a newbie to YouTube, I have to be reminded to say, if you like this, please click the thumbs up, do hit the subscribe button. Apparently it makes a difference. I very much appreciate you watching. Have a great day.